Hi everyone, welcome to Be Different for Success. Today we'll be talking about how to go from poor to rich. How to go from poor to rich, is it possible? In this video, I will share the seven steps I have used to develop the mindset for financial success. Wondering how you can accumulate wealth and become rich? Well, you aren't alone. Many of us dream about becoming the next Elon Musk. However, accomplishing that level of success is not easy but it's not impossible either. In reality, anyone can become rich, although getting there takes a combination of courage, knowledge, effort, skillful decision-making, and perseverance. There is no one surefire way to make you wealthy overnight, but there are some proven ways that can help you build wealth in the long term. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the right steps to set yourself on a path that leads to financial freedom and sustainable wealth. Let's get started. Here is how to go from poor to rich. Number 1. Commit to becoming rich I hate to break it to you, but the desire to become rich without committing to it is certainly not going to work. You need to stop treating getting rich as a hobby and be prepared to make hard decisions. Once you start following this path, you'll have to fully devote to your plan and believe that you can do it because it's possible and you deserve success. There's no room for giving up or failure you should be ready to give whatever it takes for as long as it takes to achieve wealth. Number 2. Financial Education Investing in your financial education is a fundamental step towards building wealth. You don't need to go to college or spend a fortune to learn about money. There's no standard program to teach you about personal finance, but there are a few great ways to go about it. I'd recommend you take the time to read personal finance books and resources. There are also great online courses and podcasts to listen to and improve your financial literacy in regards to basic topics like budgeting, debt, saving, and investing. Don't just follow one resource or financial expert. The best way to learn is to take in enough information so that you can form your own opinion. Number 3. Cut back unnecessary expenses and live frugally Adopting a more frugal life is something I recommend. Frugality means being economical with your money and avoiding lavish or unnecessary spending. Start by accounting for every dollar you spend each day simply by setting a budget. It helps if you stay within your spending limits. Being disciplined can prevent you from making impulse purchases when you go out shopping. If you are having trouble tracking your daily expenditure, take advantage of expense tracker apps. Another practical option is to use Excel spreadsheets. At the end of the day, you can review your spending and see what doesn't make sense. Number 4. Clear any debts first Debt can get in your way of getting rich, especially if you have difficult loans with high interest rates. Debt simply borrows from your future income, and it may encourage you to keep on spending more than you can afford. If your debt doesn't have future value, then that's considered a bad debt, and the best thing to do is to pay it off. A good example of bad debt you should clear first is credit card debt. Credit card debt has a stronger risk on your finances because it compounds way faster than your best investments ever could. In other words, you're likely to have a debt load that outweighs your earning capacity and ability to pay it off. Getting out of debt may seem easier said than done if your finances are already stretched. The good news is that there are practical ways to reduce your expensive debts. First of all, the money you save from becoming more frugal can be used to pay down your debt. Secondly, you can always look into debt consolidation or debt refinancing. With the debt consolidation option, you can turn your expensive student loans, credit card debt, and personal loans into a single manageable debt. Debt refinancing involves taking out a loan with more favorable terms and conditions to replace your existing expensive debt. This can save you a significant amount of money on interest rates. You can use your savings to make more than the minimum payment so that you pay down the debt sooner. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing what I would do. When it comes to debt, it's always best to seek professional financial advice from an expert. When you become debt-free, you'll instantly feel like a weight has been lifted from your shoulders. It's now time to make some money. Number 5. Treat your money like a rich person. Mega successful people have a financial growth mindset. They focus on spending money on profitable opportunities. Wealthy people are more open to exploring new ideas because they believe there's always more money to be generated. 
also they are not easily carried away by instant gratification. I'd like to make a simple suggestion. Be frugal on purchases that depreciate in value or don't produce income. Buy assets and avoid or reduce liabilities. For example, spending frugally on things like cars, home appliances, entertainment items, computers, smartphones, and clothes depreciate quite rapidly. I'm not going to tell you to avoid these things entirely, but it pays off when you practice conscious spending. The rich wouldn't stay rich if they always spend mindlessly. Learn to take full control of your finances. As I mentioned earlier in this post, you need to prepare a budget and pay attention to your spending so you know where your money goes. Automating your finances can take away the stress of managing your money effectively without leaving anything out. When you receive your paycheck, the money is sent to where it is supposed to. Your bills will be paid on time and money put away in your savings account without you even lifting a finger. Also, you'll know if you have some income left over to spend guilt-free. You can always tweak the automated system to what works best for you. Number 6. Invest Your Money That's right, it's time to invest your money. Investing is a smart way to grow your finances and get rich. It's important to remember that investments do involve some kind of risk. Therefore, you have to choose your investments wisely. One bad investment mistake can be very costly. Below are a few great suggestions you may want to consider. Invest in stocks, shares, and mutual funds. When you invest in stocks, you become a shareholder of a corporation. You're entitled to be part of the earnings and assets of that corporation. As a shareholder, you can make money through dividend payments or by selling your shares. Investing in stocks can help you build wealth if you make steady investments over a long period. The average annual return is estimated to be 7%. This means your initial investment in the stock market will double 10 years. It's good to keep in mind stocks that can go either way. So before buying your first stock and putting it on autopilot, at least make sure you've mastered the fundamentals of stock investing. Stocks carry more risk than mutual funds. With mutual funds, you can diversify your assets. It can consist of a mix of stocks and bonds or 100% stocks that are not entirely of one corporation. If the unthinkable happens and stock prices decline significantly, you won't be hit hard like you would if you only invested in individual stocks. You can find many videos regarding stocks in our finance playlist. Invest in real estate. In my humble opinion, real estate is one of the safest investments to accumulate wealth. However, it typically requires high initial capital that you may not be able to raise as for now. If you already have enough money saved, don't waste any more time. Research the best areas where to put your investment. Whether you're buying, developing, or selling real estate properties, the rewards are certainly encouraging. You can find many videos regarding real estate in our real estate investing playlist. Invest in businesses. Business is a broad subject. While there are hundreds of business options, it's advisable to invest money in a business centered on your skills, hobbies, interests, and talents to increase your chances of success. Put simply, you should focus on a type of business you would love spending time on even when things aren't as swift as you anticipated. Number 7. Build Multiple Streams of Income Diversifying sources of income should be part of your get-rich plan. You don't necessarily need to quit your job to start a business. Anyway, we'll talk deeply about this important topic in the next video, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bottom Line while accumulating wealth can be a rewarding and satisfying undertaking, don't forget about the more important things in your life. Who wants to become a multi-millionaire or billionaire only to end up lonely and in poor health? Also, I always think it's best to avoid getting rich quick schemes. People have become rich through winning lotteries, but striking gold may be an impossible dream for many of us. Building wealth takes dedication and patience. The chances of you becoming a millionaire overnight are slim, but if you follow these seven easy steps, you'll soon develop a rich person mindset. And that's how to go from poor to rich in a few years. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please click the thumbs up and write your personal tips in the comments below. Thank you for your support and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more from us. See you in the next video.